vlog of 2024. Okay, hello, good morning. Hello, I haven't seen you in a few weeks. You haven't seen me in a few weeks. I went on a little hiatus and quite frankly, I honestly really needed it. So I wanna say, first of all, thank you, thank you, thank you for bearing with me and just allowing me to take the space for myself because I really needed to do this. Like I needed to just like not think about making anything and just like almost like restart myself. And that's exactly what I did. I'm like, where do I start? Where do I update you guys on my life? Number one, I'm back in acting class, which I'm super excited about. What is the other thing? Oh, okay, so there's this program. It's called Compass Arts Official. That's what it's called, okay. They are like an actor program. It's three months. You have to do something every single day and they send you what you have to do the day before. And it's like little things. Like you need no more than like 20, 30 minutes to do it. And today I actually have to learn something in under 20 minutes and then film it. Um, it's a very small, tiny little monologue. So that's something on the list for today. But what else is happening that I need to update you in my vlog for this week? I have to think about this. Oh, we are redoing my voiceover demo, which I've been thinking about doing for honestly a year now and I don't know why it took so long. And my website is coming along very well. So my website should be launching very soon. I'm super excited about that. I think that's it. I think it just gave you like a rundown of my entire life. Let's make some breakfast. I think that's a good idea. And we're gonna get started on learning lines. Just wondering if I can. So look how much I have to learn. Like, look at these paragraphs. Okay, it is 3.05. I have to leave for work in about 25 minutes. Let me move my camera a little bit closer so we can chat while I'm prepping my food for work. Now you can't see me. My question is for you, honey. Last night was the Golden Globes, and I was wondering if any of you watched the Golden Globes. I chose last night consciously to not watch them because I just felt like there's a lot of very dirty, disgusting things happening in the world between like wars and issues, political problems. Like, I don't know. I just feel like I've not really agreed with a lot of things that Hollywood has done. And so I just feel like it's just better for me not to watch it because I don't want to be a part of it. And so I kind of looked the other way, which I did like that I did that. Now, this morning I was listening to what a lot of people were saying and apparently the, I don't remember the name of the host of the Golden Globes, but I heard some of the shit that he was saying and some of the jokes that he was doing. And I was like, like this is what I mean. I'm like, is this really fun? Like, is this what we're doing now? Like. We're back to this where we make jokes like that. Like, I don't know. I just felt a little bit, I felt weird about it. I feel like there's a lot of stuff happening in the world that are a lot more important than Golden Globes. And I feel like there should be other things that we should be looking at right now. And yeah, but okay, anyways, we are off. I love you and I'm gonna see you all in the morning. Happy 2024. I'm back to, I'm so happy to be back in vlogging and to see you all again. And uh, yeah, okay, see you tomorrow, honeys. I need to film the same monologue that I filmed yesterday for the other program that I'm at. I need to film another version of it today, but we have to do it in, I'm like not excited about this one, in horror. I've never actually auditioned, nor have I ever filmed for something for horror. So I'm like, do we film as a, the scary person? Like do I do scary makeup and I'm the scary person? Or am I the person that's about to be eaten alive? Like am I the person that's scared? And then otherwise we have to go to the gym today. So that's a few things we gotta do today. Yeah, I was up there for a while. It doesn't feel dirty. Um, I am getting myself ready for work. I'm also really proud of myself with work. I feel like I've developed, I really worked on this over Christmas break, like developing a really good relationship with my restaurant job where I'm like, like I'm grateful for my job. Even though it does not fulfill me anymore, I am grateful for the fact that I have a job and it pays my bills, pays my mortgage, 
puts food on the table. I'm able to pay my editor for YouTube. Like I'm able to do my all my things. So I've really worked with it. The drama that happens at work and the drama that happens with management or whatever, I just kind of do this. Okay. That's what I do. I just nod, I say yes. I create a bubble and a shield that I do not allow drama to affect me and hit me. And then I nod, I smile, I say okay, and I walk away and I think about other things that make me happy, like puppies. It's 10.30, I'm home from work, which is awesome. Today was definitely not as busy as it was yesterday. I'm getting myself ready to film my scene for my program. I actually, I'm not gonna lie, I do not like filming things this late at night, like especially after I've served, like I just am so dead when I come home from work. We decided to go for an inspiration of American Horror Story, Lady Gaga, uh, the season when she's in the hotel. So that's kind of my look, the black gloves, this, and then we're gonna add knives. We're gonna try and see how this goes, cause I don't know, I'm really not feeling this horror genre whatsoever, so. Take one of like, Possibly 300. Okay, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. That's really good, actually. Really? Yeah, that wasn't bad. So we actually ended up doing two takes, so that actually wasn't too bad. Tomorrow, they already revealed the genre. Um, I'll tell you about it in the morning. We gotta do this again, but in a different genre. Tomorrow's the first day of class. We got a lot going on tomorrow, so honey, so we gotta edit and go to bed. Okay, so today's genre for the video for the program is uh, action, which I'm like, yo, I love action, let's do it. So originally I was like, I'm gonna do um, a femme, again, like I'll be like, oh, I'll be like a Bond girl, very powerful, but then I was like, well, no, because I feel like that's very identical to what yesterday's theme was, where I played like an American Horror Story femme fatale, and I feel like it's almost like the same vibe. So I wanna play more, like an FBI agent, but I'm in distress. I feel like that is more so what I'm leaning towards. After at two o'clock, I have my first Zoom rehearsal for my scene with my first partner. So we're gonna get that. After, we're gonna gym it. And then after the gym, I'm gonna come back, get myself ready, makeup, all that stuff, um, head out to class, because then I have to come early uh, and meet with my second scene partner to rehearse for our scene tonight. A bit more tea. I also have to clean up my place because it's a, an absolute disastrous mess and it's giving me anxiety. What the heck? Where's my phone? Oh God. I need my phone to film. What just happened? Where did I put it? I found it. It was on the bed. My bad. Take one out of a thousand. Honeys, maybe I actually don't need more takes. I actually think I really like that take. I'm not gonna lie. I watched it and I was like, I'm into it. I think it's exactly what I want. <gasps> Ready? Here's my favorite part. Was that cool? <laughs> uh, probably not actually. <laughs> We're gonna edit this. We're gonna upload it now so it's out of the way. And then I'm going to clean up everything here, take a shower and be ready for my two o'clock Zoom session for my scene one. Zoom meeting went really well. I'm really excited to be working with the actor that I'm working. She's new to the class. So it's nice to be working, like I said, with somebody new because you get to kind of like feel a new type of acting skill and just a new person. So I'm really excited about that. What do I have to finish is I have to finish getting myself ready, like makeup, hair, that kind of stuff. I really want to look cute for class. To be honest, I don't, I'm not really, like I don't really go out a lot. I just find myself, to be honest, especially after COVID, all I want to wear are sweats, like all the time. Like I have all these like nice things and like fun sweaters and I'm like, I don't really wear them that often. So I'm actually going to wear the sweater that Mikita's parents gave me for Christmas. I'm ready. This is the sweater. It's like long, oversized. 
It's cute and I'm wearing high-waisted jeans. Let's head to class. Good morning. Today I'm supposed to be doing my recording for the program, but I'm not gonna have time today. So I'm actually gonna do two tomorrow, like the one that's due for tomorrow and then today's tomorrow. And then today I have my voiceover recording, which I'm so excited about. I look really funny right now because I have avocado socks on, my North Face shoes, my pink coat, and then my cheetah print matching suit. But who cares, guys? You know I don't care. And it's snowing, which is really pretty outside, so. I'm going over my recording stuff. Basically what I did for each one, as you can see, like I wrote like, oh, the CTV Oscars is performative, big, blah, blah, blah. And then the TVO2 is secret, dreamy. Like I wrote for every single one. I'm not memorizing any of it. I'm just making sure that I know what I'm saying. Like the words are not weird for me. I'm not looking at being like, I don't know how to say this. Like everything I'm aware of. And I'm gonna have this with me, so I'll be staring at the paper the entire time. I am so nervous, I just have to be honest. <laughs> but after we're done this recording, we're going to the Madonna concert. So I'm like, just get through, honey, and then go to the Madonna concert. It works out. <sighs> honey, to tell you that I'm nervous is like an absolute understatement. I'm gonna be dead honest. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be an hour and a half. I'm gonna be able to do it. It's gonna be okay. Okay, let's talk honeys. So, my recording did not happen. Basically what went down, <laughs> I don't even know. I get an email and the subject says, please urgent, please call. This is like blah, blah, blah from the studio. So I went and called and they had to cancel my recording because the sound engineer, which I kind of feel weird about this. So basically the studio that they work with is not just their studio. It's also a studio that other people use to record. And the sound engineer apparently is working with a very, in their words, demanding client. And as a result, they had to um, do something with this client and the sound engineer couldn't come for my recording. And because it was 45 minutes of the recording, they didn't have time to find a new sound engineer to work with me. And so that's why they had to cancel my thing. I understand things will happen in this industry. 1000% I get it. I do find it strange that I did feel like I paid you money and I didn't pay you like $10. I paid you a very big massive amount to do this. And so I just feel like I was kind of shooed off to the side a little bit. And then this client came in because this client's more important and from quote unquote is a very big demanding client. like. Well, then who am I? Am I not a big important client to you as well? I also paid you money for this uh, recording. So anyways, I'm also annoyed because I had to book this day off work. Like I could have worked today. Like I could have like, I took the time out to get myself ready for the recording, blah, 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 this and this. And now I wasn't planning on doing the genre today for today's monologue, which is period piece. It's like a dude in a period. Um, so I guess I'll just do that now and then eat and get ready and go to the Madonna concert is basically the rest of my night. But I just feel so like, I don't know, I just feel weird and I'm honestly now kind of feel like I'm not even motivated to film because the whole thing was just off, like just so off. I was so excited to do it and then just kinks canceled and I don't know. Anyways, that's the tea on the recording. So now we're doing it next week, so stay tuned, I guess. <laughs> This outfit I actually had for years. I wore it for the last New Year's Eve before COVID and I never wore it again. Don't know why. It's such an iconic outfit. Like how could you not want to wear this? This is so fun. Last night was so amazing. Madonna girl, if you ever watch my vlogs, 
if I could be at 65 doing the things that she was doing and looking that good and, and bouncing around the way she was, hell yes, okay? That concert was truly like magical and I don't even know how else to describe it. And she's an icon, that's it. I'm gonna be ending the vlog here. What a week it's been, honey. It's been quite interesting. Um, I guess things can go as planned and sometimes cannot go as planned. So there's that, but that's the industry. What are you gonna do about it? Next week, I'm really hoping that my voice recording will happen and uh, nothing will come in front of it. Nothing will get canceled. I'm gonna continue doing a program up until the end of March, it's three months. So as my vlogs will continue, you will be seeing me doing this program. I love you, honeys. Happy 2024. I am so excited to be back at this and to have you all be a part of my journey. I love you. I'm wishing you just everything. Everything that you ever need, I'm wishing you, and I'm gonna see you all next Friday. Bye, honeys. Bye.